Joshua Holdeman, a senior vice president at Christie's and a renowned expert in 20th century decorative art and design, is presiding over the sale. Robin Roberts had a very specific eclectic eye where he sought out extremely specific objects that uh, were often highly rare, highly unique, it had, they, they each had a specific look, they all spoke to each other. It was a very coherent kind of a collection in which it's not like he stuck to one specific kind of category, but all of the objects kind of spoke to each other in a way in which it was a very coherent eye. That eye has created a preview hall packed with over 130 items of rare beauty. But as with any auction, some pieces are more coveted than others. The crown jewel of this estate, a chair by Armand Rateau. Rateau was a very non-prolific designer slash artist who was French in the 1930s. These chairs are kind of renowned as being uh, icons of their day and of his production as an artist. Rateau is a little known artist because most of his work was done for private clients. But this chair has since become renowned as the perfect example of the Art Deco movement, refined, elegant, and inventive. Of all of Rateau's work, the piece created in 1919 may be the most difficult to find. It is one of eight that were made for a commission uh, for the Blumenthal residence. Uh, it's the last one to come onto the market, and uh, we have sold all of them here at Christie's. The last one was sold in 2003 for $980,000. Christie's estimates that the chair will sell for over $600,000. Often, auction houses base their estimates on previous sales, and at times they will lower the estimate slightly to bring in more bidders. Another rare piece? This sculpture entitled Scandal by Charles Sargent Jagger. Jagger, who was born in 1885, was an Englishman whose career spanned only 16 years. He came of age during World War I. Jagger was known primarily for his large public war memorials, but when he had a private commission, he tended to strike out in new and exciting directions. One of the leading sculptors in Britain in the 1920s. It is um, a panel that was commissioned for Henry Mond, who was a very well-known uh, society person in London at that time. This is a perfect example of you know, a designer making you know, kind of an art object. The crowning achievement of, of his life, I would say.